This is my dad. As long as I can remember, he's been working from home. And now that I'm getting a little bit older, and I'm going to be entering the job market myself pretty soon, I realize that he's been living a little differently than most people. My name is Roman Romanenko. I was born in Tallinn, Estonia, which at the time was part of Soviet Union, one of the republics. I came to Canada in 1990, and a year after I left, Estonia became an independent country. I came to Canada with my mom. At first it was kind of difficult because I didn't speak English very well. I studied English in school, but just like most people in Canada study French, you know, you know a few words, but you can't really speak well. So I had to catch up on English. I had to go back to high school for a year because my diploma from Soviet Union was not really recognized here, even though I did finish the high school there. Uh, I went to college later on. I went to George Brown College. I did a two-year building renovations program, and I did some courses and exams to become a MCSC, which is a Microsoft Certified Systems Engineer, and that's how I started my work in IT. I worked mostly uh, corporate jobs, some bigger companies, some smaller, mostly big. And in 2004, uh, I was laid off from the company that I was working at at that time. And for a while, I've been thinking of going on my own, but I was a little bit scared. And I believe that gave me a kind of a push to really try this. And it was a little bit hard at first. Like I remember my first year, I had no idea how I'm going to make money and support my life doing this. I made lots, lots less money than I did when I worked for, uh, for my last job. But the second year was much better. I think actually, I might be wrong, but I think I actually ended up making more money than I did in my full-time job. I realized that I have a lot more time now and I didn't have to work so much because I was making the same money that I was before because I was charging more hourly. I was also able to be more around my son, Lucas. So it's kind of fun, even the times when I was working, he could watch, sit around me and watch Scooby-Doo with his headphones on and enjoy his movies and shows. So that was some of the good times. Um, I was able to, on some days, like uh, drive him to school. I was able to pick him up from school and he would come home and I would be home, which was really great. Like it's, I, now thinking more back to that, I realize how important that was. Fast forwarding to uh, 2009, when Lucas was nine years old, I realized that I've been in Canada for a little over half of my life at that point, but I never really been anywhere except South Ontario and Montreal. And I was always interested in taking a trip out west. So we had a van at that time. So I basically uh, turned it into a camper by taking out all the seats and building a bit, like a big bed on the back of it and putting all our belongings underneath it. And Lucas and I set out for a trip to go to BC. We drove uh, through Canada, so we went uh, north and went around the lakes. <clears throat> and um, basically that was our first trip. We, we went to BC, it only took us like about a week or so, and we liked it so much that we actually ended up going south to uh, Los Angeles, and from there we went to Florida across the states, and then we came back. It was almost a month's trip and something like, I don't remember for sure, maybe like 18,000 kilometers. Uh, we did two more trips after that because we got really into that. So we basically traveled most of Canada and states. We've been in all the provinces in Canada with the exception of, I think, was like Nana with the Labrador. And that was also a really, really great thing that I realized later that I had that ability to do that. Lucas and I later on, when he turned uh, 15 in 2015, I decided that, you know, now he's old enough, we could take a little bit bigger trip and go see other countries. And we headed over to Europe and we traveled 15 countries there. We basically went through most of the European capitals. And that trip took us uh, two months. And that was one of the things that most people who work regular jobs cannot afford to do. And again, building on that again in 2016, we did our last trip which was really cool we went to nine countries we started out in japan and then went through a lot of asian countries and then ended up all the way down to um, australia and new zealand so um, so 
So basically before my son was 18, him and I traveled together something around 28 countries, I think. And I think that was a really, now I feel it was a really great opportunity for me to, to be able to give them that before like he even became an adult. So another part of it was the, my lifestyle, I believe, not only working for myself, but the fact that I valued freedom more than I did buying things. So I didn't really chase um, expensive cars or, or big, really big TVs that cost a lot of money. I think somebody said really well once, they said that majority of people spend money that they don't have on things that they don't need to impress people that they don't like. And I think if, if people kind of get out of that problem itself, it, it gives them a lot more freedom. They will have more money for themselves and they can value their freedom because really one of the other things is to come to a realization that you don't pay for things with money. You pay for things with time that you spent earning that money. So basically everything that you buy costed you time of your life. And if you look at it in that way, it kind of puts things in quite a different perspective. So as a conclusion, uh, lessons learned. If you can work for yourself, don't get in a rat race. It's not all about how much money you can make. It's how you spend your money and what things you value. And, uh, you know, have a good life. So I do feel very fortunate that my dad worked for himself while I was growing up. It gave him and me both amazing opportunities that I might not have gotten if he didn't work for himself. I learned a few things in my years growing up with him and while making this. 1. Live simply and minimalistically. 2. Don't spend money on things you don't need. And 3. Experiences over objects. I hope if I stay true to these things and learn from his well-doing, one day maybe I can give my kid the same opportunities that my dad gave me while working for himself.